This is Abe Freetanzer from Awards Watch, and I'm th thrilled to be here today with Leo Berna and Rafael Rodriguez talking about their film, Sensor of Dreams, which is on the Oscar shortlist for best live action short film. How are you both doing today? Very well, thank you. Yeah, pretty good. Great, great. This is such a strange and inventive film. From what I understand, it's based on a Japanese book. When did you first come across it, and how did you know you wanted to make it into a movie? Uh, we uh, we found it quite a while ago. Uh, we come from music video world and commercial, and we, we wanted to do a step into the fiction. And so I was looking for some uh, uh, short story to adapt, and I found this one. Uh, it's uh, from a, a Japanese writer that uh, is known for making the book that made um, an anime called Paprika, which is uh, quite famous in the anime world. And so, uh, yeah, I found this. Uh, so uh, I look for stories for, of this writer and found this one. Uh, and so at first, like, uh, I wasn't sure it could make a good short film. It's a little bit um, hard to adapt somehow. But then uh, after a while, it kept on running into my head. So I, I showed it to Raphael, uh, I shared with him, and uh, we started to work on it. <laughs> That's great. And how did you want to make it your own and differentiate it from the from the story? Um, yeah, actually. So to to keep going, you know, when Leo presented me the 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 story, I felt you know it was definitely um, there was definitely a potential like to make something great. But actually, you know, uh, we felt that it was a bit too pedestrian the story in a way that you know it was only two pages. So uh, it, we are missing something. It was missing something in it. So, brain, you know, during the brainstorming, we did together, like exchanging, exchanging some ideas. We found a way. So we changed many things. Actually, the story is still the same, and we changed many things in it. Um, especially, you know, when something is written, you know, it's it has to. It needs some adaptation visually. Uh, I, I mean, in the story to, to make it better visually. So it's what we, uh, it's actually it's what we did, you know, so we, we brainstormed to, to be sure that the things looks like better and works uh, as a film. And more than that, you know, we add all this part at the very end, you know, it's still the same kind of story, but we add all these moments when, especially the, the sensor goes to the, the boss, the, the ego. At the very end of the film, and here that it's like something we added because we felt it was some something important to tell here in the story. That's very interesting. And would you consider yourselves vivid dreamers? Do you remember what you dream, and do you think your dreams are interesting enough to make a movie out of them? <laughs> uh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rafael is always uh, talking uh, about like he's having like really intense dream about the end of the world, about war. <laughs> It's like white uh, streeters. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, end of yeah. the world in, in architecture. I have a lot of architecture like evolving in like strange places. And I remember really well the places so I could draw the the floors, the, everything, you know. So it's like well, it's really vivid. Yeah. Yeah, I make very quite different dreams. Uh, like require, yeah, it can be pretty different, but my favorites are the one when I managed to fly. <laughs> Well, well, it's very interesting and interesting to hear about all this. Thank you both for making this film and for taking the time to speak with me today. And best of luck in the Oscar race. Yes, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>